garage. Uh, welcome to episode two of the the Turbo LS Commodore One Tunnel Build. In this episode, we're going to tackle the the pedal conversion. As soon as we've got an automatic car and we're changing to manual, we're going to need to put the the third clutch pedal in and change out the the brake pedal to the narrow one as well. Now I'm lucky enough that I, I, I have. The, the parts needed in the rack of exactly the same car and I've already taken them parts out so I can show you what parts you're going to need and what parts I've got here ready to go in and then we'll go through the process and get these pedals installed maybe try and give you a few tips and give you a bit of an insight on what you're in for and what parts you need and just try and yeah, put a bit of info out there for you let's have a look this is what we've got that's come out of the rack yeah, to be wrecked. Just for a quick look. Uh, I took I took the accelerator pedal. You don't need it. The only reason why I took it is for this cover. So disregard that. Your standard V6 one will work. Obviously, the brake pedal is a lot narrower. And you know you probably could just change the lever uh, up in there. All the springs and the washers and everything like that. In this situation with this up inside the car, this top bolt, it, it would be a nightmare to try and change it, so it's definitely easier just to change this whole assembly. I promise you, easier. And also the all-important clutch pedal, complete. If you're looking at buying one second hand, try and get make sure it has the clutch switch on it, it has all the clips and everything for the master cylinder shaft, and make sure it comes with the brake switch loom because obviously your automatic car won't have this loom in there. Um, I also took the footrest but that doesn't really matter. You're also going to want the, the master cylinder, the reservoir and the brake booster bracket that mounts it to the brake booster. If you get all them parts there it's going to make your conversion a lot easier. I've also got the V8 throttle cable that I pulled out while I was there as well. Let's turn over to the car and have a look and get started. I have already started, but I've laid it all out so I can show you what I've done. First thing you want to do is get rid of the seat. It'd, it'd be so hard to get in there with that seat in there, especially in this little cab. Maybe on a sedan you could just roll the seat back and sort of lay on the seat, but I reckon move the seat. It's four bolts, a few plastic covers. These plastic covers here just slide forward. Very easy, slide them forward. Uncovers the bolt, take the bolt out, same as there, cover, bolt, bolt, cover and a bolt, unplug it, seat comes out. Life's a lot easier. Plenty of room to get in there. Next thing you're going to come across is the cover. It sits on here. It normally sits over all this. Alright, just pull it down. If this clip's holding it in, there's no screws that hold that and pull it down. Yeah next thing you'll come across is this underneath the bottom there'll be a couple of these little, little quick clips you just pop them out that normally sits under there pop that down and get rid of it then there'll be this plastic thing that sits on here it's sort of like your hinge bracket there's a few phillips screws across the bottom here the undo and your abd2 port is screwed in as well so you have to unscrew that then you can get rid of that and they'll open you up so you can get up in there. There's a quick look from this angle. Now what I'll do is move some of this stuff out of the way then I'll actually lay in there and I'll give you a close up look of what we're gonna undo up there. All right, I sh shimmied myself in here. You can see the orientation of the pedals. I'm gonna spin you upside down and have a look at what we've got here. Okay, you can see there. That's where the booster comes through and clips onto the clips onto the pedal. So you got them bolts there. They're the extra two bolts that I did to get the accelerator pedal. You don't have to worry about that. You will have to take the cable out of that green holder there. The little green yellow thing that just clips out. That's where your throttle cable comes through because you will change the throttle cable out. The throttle cable for the V6 is definitely different. So all these bolts come undone. Same as on this side here. 
them two on that side there, they're gone. We get rid of them. There's your clip for your brake booster, right here. That just lifts up, get a little screwdriver under there, lift it up, and then that thing will slide back and come off so you can pull the pin back out of the booster shaft. This is the booster shaft that hooks up to your brake booster on the outside. Now to get that out of there, the booster will actually have to be moved right back out of the way, so we'll get to that. But first off, let's get all these these four bolts that are around the booster off, get that clip off that I talked about, and then there's also, hard to see under here, but these silver bolts here, there's three of them. One, two, there's actually another one, virtually impossible to see, but it's in above. Get your hand up in there and feel for it. You'll see it, feel it. Actually, there it is, there. You can see it there. That one there, get that out too. And then we'll get everything loosened up. I'll, I'll do all that, get the clip off, and obviously unplug plug the brake switch there too. We'll get all that off and I'll show you, then we'll get outside and show you what you do with the brake booster to get it out of the way. I'm back, bolts undone, accelerator pedal I've already taken out, got all the bolts undone, undid the clip for the brake booster. Quick tip, there's an air conditioned vent that comes a bit of plastic. It'll come from here across to here. There's no screws that hold it, but pull it out and that will give you access to the brake switch clip and the other three bolts in the top a lot easier. And everything under here is undone. I have to go outside and, and pull that booster through a little bit just to give it enough play to slide the booster shaft off this pin. So you can see the booster shaft on the pin. You just need to just lodge it free so you get a bit of sideways movement so you can actually pull that pull that across. So I was going to step outside and I'll um, show you what's going on out there and we'll get this out. Okay, in the engine bay, there's this bracket, the booster bracket, a lot of reinforcing that goes on there. There's two 12s that you undo and there's a 13 in the end there. That'll make it all loose. That little bit of play is what you need to slide that booster shaft off the pin in there, off the pedal. Now, I'm not going to show you me sliding it off. You just grab it and pull it to the side. Now, there's a bit of play. Once you've got that shaft off, um, we'll catch back up and I'll show you what you have to do next. Been inside, pulled that shaft off. No dramas. Then you come back out here and you've got to pull the booster out. All my brake lines are still hooked up. You just pull it back far enough because you, you're going to have to get that the brake pedal off over the shaft. So you have to bring it back a fair bit. Give me a bit of flex in the brake lines. Now this isn't an ABS car. This is just executive so there's no ABS lines or anything like that, brake lines. But in actual fact, there is more room to move, more play I should say, to move the booster back with ABS lines. So you can see how I've done it in this ABS car, my wreck, I could actually pull it all the way out. All the ABS lines are still in there, no worries. They just twist out of the way. Very easy. So, ABS or not, you'll be able to do it. If anything, ABS is easier. So, back to the actual car. I can actually pull those pedals out. And something else I also did while I was in there is I pushed the grommet out from the inside, I've already pushed the grommet out for the clutch pedal master cylinder. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in there and pull them pedals out and start slotting the other ones back in. They're out. It wasn't too difficult at all. You can sort of see the difference between the, the pedals there. Obviously it's a lot wider. Now we're gonna go and put the narrow one back in. Very simple slide it back up in there push the booster back through that center hole and um, we'll get that tidied up and then the clutch pedal orientation in the car this bracket here actually sits over those two holes so they share the same hole so just to give you a bit of an idea they sit on like that 
that's what holds the top of it. These two back ones are the two holes that go through the firewall that the master cylinder goes through. So that's how the pedal is actually held in, just them two there and them two there. But uh, I'll slide this pedal in, slide the booster back up, back under the dash. I have got the manual pedal, or the manual brake pedal I should say, the narrow one up in there. I've managed to poke the booster back through the hole. And you can see the booster's not all the way home yet. The studs off the booster are not through these holes. Now it has to line up through this plate at the same time. So I found one bolt. Just I'll just put the single bolt. You know the clutch pedal's going to go into them too. So try and leave them out. Just, I'll just put one in. Fairly loose. It's just finger tight. And that'll hold it there good enough so that you can line this plate up. And we'll go back outside and push that booster through. And then I'll, after that's pushed through, I'll put some nuts on that to hold it. Then I'll bring the clutch pedal up in here. There's the hole for it. There's the two top holes. Plenty of room on the clutch pedal. It's actually quite simple. This side, the hardest part, is definitely just getting that booster out and in. Okay. Okay, after stuffing around for a bit, I've got them all in. bolted in, brake switches back on. A good tip is after you get the brake pedal in and you're trying to get that booster shaft on there, leave everything loose. Leave the four bolts loose just so the, the bolts are just on there. The top one bolt that's holding top of the bracket, just leave that nice and loose so you can jiggle everything around so you can slide that booster shaft onto the pin easier. Once, once you've slid it onto the pin, then she'll go ahead, tighten everything down. One thing I did notice, before, didn't say before, was is your accelerator pedal is going to have to come out completely after I realised, because it's actually on top of the bracket that holds the brake pedal. So the accelerator pedal will have to come out completely for the swap. But that's simple enough. Then I slid the clutch pedal up. Easy enough, and sure enough, it sits on top of the brake pedal bracket there with them two bolts and slides into the factory hole. I have not got the master cylinder through there yet. This is where it, this is where it'll slide onto the, the master cylinder pin will slide onto the pedal. And, and yeah, we'll, um, go out and I'll show you outside. Down here, that's your hole for the master cylinder. Factory hole, even in an automatic car, you have this grommet in there, so it just pushes it out. It's all factory parts, pretty simple. So now we just gotta take the master cylinder and actually slide it in there. It'll slide in. Goes over the two bolts. Happy days. And then this bracket here on the reservoir will go on onto there. With that one bolt obviously goes under where the the booster bracket goes. Very simple. Ooh. You got your two bolts that'll go on the back of there, tighten it all up, that holds the reservoir. And then of course you've got a bolt either side there to hold that in. That's your factory line. That'll meet up with the gearbox line that actually has a bracket that goes here. We'll get to that when we drop the motor and gearbox in. So I'll button these few bolts up here. Then I'll put the shaft on in underneath on the pedal. And um, yeah, I'll give you another little clip then. Tight. Tighten the two down there. These are all 13mm. Same as the bolts that are all underneath the 
underneath the dash for the pedals are all 13 mil. And if I can give you one tip, deep sockets. All the threads seem to hang out a lot further than they need to. So a normal socket won't go over it. Long sockets will always help. All the pedals are in. The master cylinder shaft is in. Sir clip washer. No dramas, everything's bolted up. I did put the V8 throttle cable in already and it's all in there. Pin back up the top there, it'll focus. There she goes. Full tight. One thing I will note is this here is normally the switch you'll find on the clutch pedal and this is an extra switch that goes on the brake pedal. Now this is to suit cruise control really. This car I've got here is full blown budget model, no cruise control. So there's no allocation for this wire and because there's no cruise control. So these just normally push the clutch in, that will disable your cruise. And when you hit the brake, that also disables the cruise. So I don't need them. But just in case your car does have cruise, you will need this. Okay, I've finished that clutch pedal install a couple of hours ago. I just had some friends come over. I couldn't finish this conclusion part of this video. I hope that what I've showed you helps, maybe gives you a little bit more confidence to tackle that little job maybe. Uh, the next video we'll probably look at taking that standard automatic shifter out, so that's pulling the centre console and the dash part of it, pulling the shifter out. And we'll have a look at that, it's probably be a bit of a shorter video. Um, if, if you liked the video make sure you hit the like button, uh, subscribe if you're interested in watching me build this car and comment if you have any questions. Alrighty, I'll see you on the next one.